What is Yogiri? I asked that question. Kind of a rhetorical question because we all know that he is basically the end, right? Ah, we pretty much confirmed it, but before that, any monkey could see that, hey, he just says die. Things just die. Even in inanimate objects, as icicles, right? He is the end of all things. And yes, when I ask questions like that, you guys typing in the comment section say, bro, what do you mean? It just said it. He's the end. He's and yes, you guys don't understand the fucking point. You don't understand what question I'm asking. Everybody knows he is. But like, why is he, right? We know that he's some kind of lab science fucking kid. Is he a test tube baby? I don't know. These are end game things that we need to know about. Now, I know you monkeys are going to start spoiling me again. And I think that this anime series specifically, the people that comment on my YouTube section, I'm not shitting on the instant death fandom, but specifically the people of that fandom typing in my videos. I've never seen so much fucking spoilers in my fucking life, dude. Episode one is a fucking containment zone. That shit is a nuclear fallout. I don't even touch that shit because as soon as I start reading, people People are spoiling out of the fucking gate. And talking about the gates, didn't like gate one open or some shit? And what about the fucking satellite stuff? And what about everything else? Anyways, let's get started on today's reaction. This is... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, by the way, by the way. Yes, I, I, I've heard you guys. Apparently, because this is episode one stuff, right? On the bus, right? A, a wyvern attacked? People are saying, bro, look at where the wyvern pierced the people. And even right now, right, they have a black line. So, like, can you guys confirm type 1 in chat if the wyvern's tail is pretty much just... You know? Did everyone just get... Right up, right up the ass? Is this true? Because everyone's like, yo, look at... Or is it true? In the light novel, did they actually show a much more gruesome picture of it? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> yes, Spike! Ass to mouth, dude! Straight up! Ass to mouth, dude! <laughs> All right, let's, let's focus on the. It's not the dragon's tail. What do you mean it's not the dragon's tail? What? You tell me it was wyvern dick? It was straight up wyvern dick? What is the anatomy of a wyvern's dick? I want to Google this right now, but I probably shouldn't, huh? I probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, okay, focus. Focus on what's going on right now. Okay, what's going on? Okay. Uh, unit, authority, highest level, diagnostic unit, program, what is going on right now? EX threats? Wake up? Why is she alive? Why is she alive? I thought we just went ass to mouth. I thought we went ass to mouth! What is this? Unit, plan execution unit, Ayaka Shinozaki, you are an android? Bro, this? What is this? You, she's an android now? We are the AI unit group that brought Shinozaki to life. Battle unit. Is this aggressor side? Or is this the... This is clearly not the sage side, right? Judgment units. Medical units. Aggressors? Or... Uh, she's an android now? Okay. Apparently you did. Ask to mouth. She doing this because she... Does she even know what happened? Ask to mouth? Screw getting used as bait for those jerks and dying. Does she even know that she got fucking ass to mouth? I hope not. <laughs> Removing <laughs> limiter. <laughs> what? Oh, she's strong. You gonna eat it? Oh. Oh, she likes it. Oh, she likes it a lot. Oh. This fucking anime... Unless this somehow relates to the aggressors, I swear to god, if they're introducing a completely new faction, completely new mechanics... I mean, I should be used to this by now. The agency. Okay, flashback with Yogiri and, uh, Big Sis. Dude, the rice is burning. Anyways, they're in charge of Alpha Omega, who's Yogiri. wonder if there's other clients like Alpha Omega. So, like, did the lab, like, create this kid, or did the lab find him, you know? It's like, what's going on? <laughs> gross. <laughs> a guy should never say the food a girl cooked for him is gross. Um, I feel like... If you tell a girl that your cooking is not trash, even though it is trash, it'll hype them up and they'll continue to cook more trash. And at a certain point, someone that's not as nice as you, they'll eat your girlfriend's food and they'll die. So I feel like you gotta let them know. You know, it's like, you know what? This is... 
It could be better. I have potential. I see potential in you. You could do better in this. I feel like this completely lag is not a good idea, dude. <laughs> she had all the burnt rice. Oh, poor kid. Yo, you should say die to the burnt rice. What would happen? Like, seriously. If Thief says die to the burnt portion of the rice, would he get like a clean bowl of regular rice or just, just the burnt portions just, just get rid of just the burnt portions how would that work oh another girl is now that looks like an android why is it such a countryside in japan you know the the environment here and even his clothing is all just like old traditional clothing right is this kid like from the past why does he or or, or did the lab like put him in these clothing because, like, you show this, like, past, you see the architecture, this clothing, it just feels like ancient Japan, right? So it's like, Wah. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. Okay, this name is too fucking long. This is the worst branding. This is worse than fucking Project L. Have you guys heard that Project L, Riot's new fucking fighting game, dude? I can't believe they named it fucking Project L of all things. All right, you can say virality because it sounds stupid. Maybe more people will hear about it. They named it fucking called like 2XK, 2XK or some shit. It sounds so cringe. Anyways, this fucking name is Independent High Order Life Form Research Institute. Worst fucking name ever. E. Holfrey. That's right. Yeah, have you guys heard of E. Holfrey? I've definitely heard of e -Hall Free. That's my favorite company. It doesn't make it work. She's not getting paid enough for any of this. What do you mean? You literally interviewed her, bare minimum, and you said, all right, just get yourself in there. Now go handle this kid that can just kill stuff. Bye-bye. If only it were that easy. You have no budget. You're not even paying the girl. Your recruiting process was fucking ass. Oh, they all quit. Okay, that makes sense. They, they all quit. They, they're all like very reasonable people that was like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. I'm not even getting paid for this shit. I'm out. How much money is this? Let's see this. How much? How much in total? How much in total? Money doesn't mean shit if you die also, man. She can? You think she can just leave? Also, they're paying her in like cold cash. <laughs> I really thought you'd die. Damn. He had no expectations of her. Alright. Vacation put in. Two weeks. Let's go. I want to know how much she got paid. The fuck? We asked for vacation that we got put into... No, no, no. This was the vacation. Damn! And then... Louis Bonaparte. <laughs> so it's like Louis Vuitton, but they put Napoleon Bonaparte's last name in there. Interesting. It's better than like something like instead of Louis Vuitton, they could have done like Louis Bouton, you know, like Nike instead of like nice. Okay, she's balling out. And then she got put in here. Okay. Are you the same company or? I, they didn't introduce themselves as I Holfrey, you know, the uh, independent. Uh, I forgot the fucking name. Is this a separate company? What, what is this? Did you see the ro uh, Did you see the robot? Did you see the robot moving the fucking? <laughs> this is so uncanny, dude. Especially the blank stare that this robot has. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Vacation? You know what happens when VTubers goes on vacations, especially corporate VTubers? <laughs> it means there might about that means a graduation notice is about to happen, dude. Whenever a VTuber announces on their Twitter that a corporate one says that I'm going on vacation for like mental health reasons or like health related issues. You know a graduation notice or a termination is coming up, dude. They're not the ones tweeting it by the way. It's the corporate manager that's saying that shit. Cause it's already done. So maybe our girl's already done here too, man. Oh, maybe! Cause remember in the intro episode? Right? Before like, he, he was like flashback, before he woke up and saved, you know, uh, Danora, right? What happened? He was like, saving her in like a lab situation. Maybe that lab situation is where she's locked up right now. And he's not gonna go in and break that shit out, right? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're already dead? We, are, we know he can kill like long distance. Doesn't he have to have some kind of like killing intent though? Doesn't he have to know some kind of killing intent? Uh, how, did, how did he do this? Did they... Uh, we don't know what happened after that, but they're all dead. I, I, I thought it was like if you don't want to do like long distance, like you, you need to like have some kind of like... You can sense the killing intent and you can like trace it back, but maybe there's some other way he traced it back here. Uh-oh. Oh, this poor girl, man. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is just a little kid that just wants to go see, you know, his big sis, man. It's like so innocent from his side, but everyone else here are fucking scared shitless because he is out for you. You saw what happened? Everyone here died. Also, they're learning new things too. It's like, oh shit. They didn't realize how he could kill like that, dude. They're, you're asking a cop for a gun? Bro, this cop ain't doing shit. Go home right now. You ain't doing anything. Shoot her? <laughs> Killing in 10. He could trace it there, right? Whoa, my God. Did he just test? I just realized what he tried to do. I thought he was trying to make her stop, you know, opening so much shit. But like... Maybe that was his decision. But I feel like he wanted to test like a theory like killing intent. Can he kill by killing intent? I don't know. Something about that was off, right? So he learns about long distance and stuff like that. This poor cop, man. No, you I'll take responsibility my ass. He died three seconds after. Take responsibility, bro. <laughs> well, we're doomed. <laughs> Hello? Oh, she's around? She's on vacation. Just be truthful. Soon. Two weeks? Uh, the agency. The agency. So, the corporate structure, this is one specific branch. But the agency is basically top. They're like global and they're basically the head. And for some reason, they took interest in her because of her ties with Alpha Omega, even though Alpha Omega, that was all by our little sister. I don't know. Maybe there are separate companies. Maybe they're the same and just big company. Different corpo? What did you just say? All right. Yeah, don't tell Asaka. I casually killed everyone in here. Okay. <laughs> Creepy ass look, dude. Look at this thing. Oh, dear God, Yogiri's in. <laughs> is this the Oregon? This is episode one flashback. Just give Asaka. What the fuck is that shrine maiden? Huh? Three separate people, but this is outside on Earth, right? This is Earth, right? This is not the Isekai world, but there's already seemingly Isekai characters here. And this guy's saying that <laughs> it's not special. Bro, come on. Is it He's going to die. And the military, dude. If you have killing intent, you're going to die. You dumbasses. Boom. Wah, wah. Did you see that? The perfect synchro with Asuka falling to the, her bed as the other people die. Look at this. Perfect sync. Oh! You would kill her? You're still hostage, but you're dumb. I mean, I guess she doesn't really know the mechanics either, right? Shine! To see you, of course. It's been so long. Nah, you already dead. Nah, you dead. Bye bye! Okay, then. Now what? And then we woke up in the bus and we saw Dannora, right? Asaka's face was matched with Dannora's, but what happens after? <laughs> Come on, guys. Look at this kid's face. You think this kid could do anything evil? Look at how sweet he is. He just happened to massacre maybe like 300 people on the way here to see Asaka, but he's got good intentions, man. Aww. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh no! What would Yogi feel if Asaka scared? Oh, she embraces him. 
That's the good decision. Any any regular pe person right there would have been like terrified when started screaming would have ran away, huh? But like she actually cares about the kid. So she can understand better, right? I don't know. The agency might come after you guys. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> as long as the pay is good, I guess. Yeah, a guard? I mean, she can't back out now with Yogiri, man. Wonder if she's alive still, you know? Oh. You know she's gonna die soon, right? Like, she has to be dead, right? She's too good. She's too good of a person. That lab guy is actually pretty cool, too. Hmm? Oh, the luxury bags? Did we leave it at the agency? Oh, we can buy new ones. And here we go! Download again! Just a reminder, guys, if you spoil me, I'm gonna permanently ban you. So think twice before answering any questions that I ask because they're rhetorical. Delete your comments if you know what you're doing, okay? I don't think you can delete your comments on Twitch, actually. What? What did you just say? I'd like to inject some of him into the Danura blood. Moko Moko, what the fuck are you on? She basically wants to. Yeah, she basically saying, Danura, come on. Go fuck Yogiri already. Have some offsprings. Come on. We need some of his genes and a Danora bloodline. You know, the Danora bloodline has been overhyped. Every episode. Moko Moko just fucking comes up with, oh yeah, the Danora bloodline can do this. It's like, what the fuck, really? When are we going to actually see these OP skills, though? Because, like, Danora, she hasn't really done that much, right? She hasn't had, like, a super pop off omen just yet, but I feel like we're building towards. <laughs> <laughs> immediately folds. Nothing, just injecting your genes into her bloodline anyways. CGI Castle! Royal Capital! Who are these dudes? Is there a classmate? Who are you? It seems reasonable so far. They're not gonna fight back, they're just gonna collapse on the ground like flies. Well... That was a pretty good lie, because, like, none of us got powers, right? We're not part of the system, right? Because if you're, like, a sage candidate, you're, like, don't you have some kind of, like, tracking on you? Like, doesn't, like, your body somehow become possession towards, like, Sion and them or some shit? But we, we, we don't have any of those powers, right? We don't have gifts. Yeah, the gifts is what I'm talking about. We don't have gifts. Celestina? Celestina? I'm sorry, there's so many characters. Do I know a Cetestina? The Cetestina bless us with some kind of who? Yeah, who? I... Is this an important character that I forgot? Who the fuck is Celestina, dude? What the fuck would she do with us? With the, the gifts and... Alright, well, whatever. Alright, Celestina? What? It's easy to pull off, so we've basically forged some kind of gift in us and Celestina helped us. Alright, I honestly don't remember Celestina. Sorry, guys. Uh, holy shit, instantly! What is that? Right! Because Rick is like super important, right? He's like, like I don't know, Rick might as well be the fucking crown, crown prince or some shit. But yeah, he gave us this. Alright. Royal family Rick. Easy. This is what happens when you have connections, guys. Uh oh Richard. Rick. David. So, I'm just gonna guess David's gonna die. <laughs> Rick's little bro? Little bro David? The holy sword. Well, Rick is the sword master now. Yeah, Rick is sword master now. What do you want, bro? Shine, can we just get on with it? Can we just kill the fucking crown? Well, one of the princes. Now we can't just kill a royal prince. This is annoying now. Fuck. Alright, kill the sword? Yeah, we should be able to just destroy the sword. We can do that. <laughs> Moko Moko. <laughs> she right? We should fight. That one's fantasy level is low. Moko Moko can assess powers too. Alright, let's go, Danora. Show me the Danora bloodline techniques. What in the fuck is she using? Is she using a fruit knife right now? Are we about to get a Mihawk versus Zoro instance first round? Probably some OP pay to win gear, but she's got like a fucking fruit knife, dude. 
She got a fruit nap, but look at her pose. Her pose looks good, and yes, I do see the belly button design. <laughs> yeah, it's a Danora style. Dirty does it. We play dirty, that's a Danora style. She is moving. <laughs> she going like this to distract. So, did she always have these skills and techniques, or did this like awaken within her as Moko Moko came to be? She could always do this? She threw it? What? Uh, oh! Which one are you gonna focus? The knife or her? Dude! Where's the knife gonna fall? She just kicked him in the nuts, dude! So she just... This is all a lie! This, this, this is a... Ooh, look, I'm hiding my feet! Ooh! Psych! Throws it! It just kicks him in the nuts! The animation here was kind of goofy, but... You know? That's pretty sick! Damn! <laughs> Did we just end one of the prince's bloodlines? Can he have kids after this? And you know what would be the best part? The cherry on top is if the knife somehow like... Did like a comical land on his fucking ass and just like stabbed him, you know? Just stabbed him on the fucking ass at the top. Just little, just little cherry on the top, you know? Too easy. That's a skill? <laughs> this fucking girl. Hey. <laughs> Are you guys serious right now? They're all fucking cheering after what she just did. We basically threw pockets at. We ran. Then we just <laughs> kicked the dude in the nuts and they're like, Amazing! Did you see the Swordmaster's gift? Oh my god! <laughs> it's the movement. It's the movement that seemed impressive. Gotcha. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Sometimes she explains those things fast, but some, it's actually probably important, right? Isekai combat techniques are too primitive. So the highly developed Danora school arts are like magic to them. You just fucking... That was an illusion magic trick. You just fucking threw pocket sand and you went really low and just dashed. But all right, down there, our school arts is better and isekai bullshit. Sure, sure. That's a light novel title. You're right. Bro's dead. I don't know. You kicked him pretty fucking hard. Jesus, more CGI. Let's just kill the spell then. Fine wizard. Oh, not our attack. <laughs> Wait, was he one of the characters that was shown by the goddess when she was looking at the list of characters that would have been in trouble for her in this like run, right? Remember last episode? The goddess was going through all these characters that we killed and was like, oh my god, thank god he's not here. So <laughs> he's <laughs> making another comeback. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, the sparkly guy's done. Yeah, you can say that. Kind of. Okay, he did. Meaning he's scared. That was a nervous Riz. He's like terrified of her, but he's still trying to charm her with the wink there. Okay. That's what happens when you kick a guy in the nuts like that, I guess. One kick to the nuts is all it took for David to fold like that. Bro went from, hmm, I don't believe you. You must test me in a battle. Gets kicked in the nuts. My pride will not let them get away with it. No one shall tarnish your name, me masters. You fold the way too easily. Martial arts. Explorer. Wonder world? How many dark gods are there in this fucking world? Did we not just fucking unseal a dark god in the Swordmaster arc? So suddenly there's a whole separate group of adventurers called Explorers. And they just happen to be in this royal capital. And underneath the royal capital, a dark god is sealed. And the Explorers are here to beat them. I, I swear to god, we just had the... Anyways, okay. There's a couple dark gods. Okay. Yeah, apparently. No, I don't know anything. Hey, what are we doing next? 
How many of her classmates? Which ones? You'll forgive them or not? I don't think she's even thought about that, man. Hey, look at it. This is a copy paste isekai uh, map number 4712. <laughs> you can see there's three. There's Wall Maria. What, what, what are the walls in Attack on Titan? There's like um, Wall Maria. There's a wall fucking. I don't know. You know, there's like the other fucking walls. So these are all our classmates? That's a deep voice actor. The king of Mani. Bro, that's a king. Shinya Ushio, damn. Our classmates are so shitty. Hey, hold up, you king in this world that I'm living in. Aren't you being condescending? Is he a little giga chat? I'm not sure. I mean, that's kind of true, I guess. Yeah, who is that dumbass dude? Should I even remember that name? He's probably gonna die so soon. <laughs> king, kill him. Kill him, King. Oh, oh. oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! You deserve this! Absolutely deserve! The Eroge Master's time freezing technique wasn't invincible. Sounds like another fucking light novel title, by the way. This could be a straight up a new fucking anime. The Eroge Master's time freezing techniques wasn't invincible, so he, I guess, has that skill. He has some kind of like time freezing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Bro got humbled so quick. Defeat the Dark God. And that is another episode of Instant Death where a hundred new things are thrown at us. So let's see what happened. In the beginning, there's like this girl that should have been killed, ass to mouth by Wyvern Dick. Yet here she is, somehow alive. And she's an android. And there's like different people talking to her. Is this the aggressors or is this completely different, right? I have no clue, but that seemed to be important, right? Anything else that happened? We got a little bit more backstory and how exactly we saw the episode one flashback, right? Where I thought that the girl was like saving Yogiri, but no, Yogiri was the one saving the girl here, dude. He just wanted to see her, right? It's just like an innocent kid that just wants to see his big sis, but it's like he just ended up killing so many people along the way. <laughs> but it's cool to see that, you know? Despite being a ruthless murderer, Asuka sees the innocent, pure side of Yogi. And you, you need, like, a good person to, like, have leadership over. Like, like to have some kind of role model or some kind of, like, guardian that's able to guide a kid like this. Because, like, imagine if she wasn't around, if someone shitty was around, Yogi went all dark. Because, like, if you think about it, Yogi seems like a pretty reasonably good guy, right? If you really take like pay attention to the things he says and the moral values that he hold, upholds, I think that he's a pretty outstanding guy. Even though sometimes he just kills a lot of people, I feel like those are, you know, justified deaths. And then we got to the royal capital and there's another dark god, by the way. And I'm not sure if the anime is like being, you know, like breaking the fourth wall by having all these different things that seems like a new light novel title or the fact that, holy shit, another dark god exists. Is this the anime poking fun at itself or am I just schizo? I don't really know, man, but we're setting up for a new arc and goddamn, it's time to kill another dark god, I guess. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.